Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Donna, this is Irish Donna Tarot, and this is a Taurus love reading, so let's jump in. Spirit is sending you the message, Taurus, that this relationship is beyond the ordinary. Your person feels as though you're very unusual. We also see smoke and mirrors, so as we look at the reading closely, we really want to make sure that your person is not presenting um, an illusory image to you. We do see the number six here, though. Four and two is six, so it doesn't look like it's too worrisome, but this person feels that you are very glamorous, and they may be inclined to be, you know, try to make you have an opinion of them that may not be quite exactly right. But, you know, hey, image is everything, right? We all fight for uh, a good image. So they have a public relations team on staff to work, hopefully, that you will think the best of them. We have wish upon a star. Look at this. Eyes closed, hand on heart. So Taurus, your person really cares. You know, they, they feel as though they're falling in love with you. The overall energy in the reading is Ace of Swords. Taurus, you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and Spirit wants that for you. We also have a, a small offer, a Page of Pentacles. So we have air sign energy. We have Virgo energy. Seven of Swords is really sort of... Um, similar to smoke and mirrors. This person looks like they're very intent on spying on you, on really knowing what's going on. Um, so we'll have to see more about what that's about. It can be a card of being tricky, you know, but it isn't always, it isn't always. So sometimes people lie to themselves, sometimes they're not clear, sometimes they want an image. So, but we'll just see what happens. We have thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions. So when we look at your person's thoughts, they think that you are marriage material. They put you in that caliber of person it, that of being somebody to wish for. They feel as though you are on a higher level of success and accomplishment than them. Um, they're trying to figure out if you would really um, like them. When we get page energy here, as we do, um, you have someone who thinks that you are elevated above them socially in the social standing, the hierarchy, so to speak. But they are searching within. This is Pisces energy. This is Taurus energy. They're searching within for enlightenment, for answers of sort of how to level up. We have the Page of Swords. Again, they really spy on you. Um, they really like to know, they would like to know a lot more about your work life, but their thoughts are that you are someone with whom they may work, they may have done a project. There may be sort of some sort of artistic uh, connection between the two of you, uh, teamwork of some sort, but it speaks to the fact that your person feels as though you would be a very good life partner. And we see that also here with the Hierophant. That's Capricorn energy again, 10th house of career sort of energy. They're very impressed with you. They, they're impressed with your skill set. The world card, again, they put you on a pedestal. They feel as though very much that you have achieved a lot in your life. They're very respectful of you. Um, they would love to uh, be a part of your world. And the Ace of Swords, they're very honest in uh, what they tell you about work. And, you know, they're straightforward in their intentions. I, I feel as though the, the real feeling I'm getting is that they're a little nervous around you. So they try to project or put their best foot forward, which we all do. I'm not seeing anything here in this reading that makes me worried at all about your person. I just feel as though, you know, they're they're sensitive about the fact that you may be at a higher level than they are, Taurus. Um, we get the energy here in their heart space. Look at this justice card. They feel in their heart space a certain level of fear because they feel as though they would like to or be interested in marrying you. The Justice card in a love reading is oftentimes the, well, it's the seventh house on the astrology wheel of marriage. And so when they think of you, they're not so sure that you would accept them, and that makes them feel insecure. 
we have the heart of cups they have they're developing a great amount of love for you they're trying to stay balanced the nine of coins energy is single ready to mingle that is in their heart space they want to level up and be an emperor or a nine of pentacles with you and alongside of you i do feel for most of you this is probably an early part of a relationship um or the pan, you know, or the world circumstances has slowed it down at some level, but we see this person wants to be very, very powerful in terms of your respect. They're craving your respect, but cups are love, but they feel left out in the cold a little bit. We see the four of cups. They have feelings of love, but they don't know that you're going to accept their love. They have a lot of it. Heart, that's a queen of cups. That's Cancerian energy. So we have Libra, Cancer, Aries. We have um, Aquarius, Saturn, Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius energy. In terms of their intentions, they know that they want to have you in their life. The Ten of Coins. They feel as though they would like to have a legacy relationship till death do us part. Let's take and let's make and build something together with this three of coins to the ten of coins that is a legacy marriage it's typically children grandparents dogs cats a beautiful home college educations it's building wealth it's building security for the future it's working hard within the framework of creating something bigger than yourselves your person feels underwater though they feel very much that this is uh, pisces energy that you just may not think they're up to standard and so again smoke and mirrors they may be tempted to exaggerate their accomplishments is what I'm getting so when we look at the high priestess card they plan on they intend to really keep to themselves not say much to you try not to over talk in the relationship they really want to spend time with you they want they intend to date you they intend to have a victory with you a lot of sadness here though so there may have been some interactions with you that have left them feeling less than and so you know you might have been picking up on this smoke and mirrors so for some of you i you know you're very sharp taurus i mean you know the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth so they're very they're in this state of being intentionally vague you know they're feeling insecure so they're projecting this image on to you about happiness a good family a good heritage you know the six of wands of victory their actions now the actions i love we have the star card that is aquarius energy they will rush towards you the chariot card is honey i'm home i'm coming in quick this is the emperor driving this chariot so what i perceive here taurus is that many of you have a very accomplished person in your life that may not have the certifications or fancy degrees or whatever but they do look like they're incredibly competent and have a lot of mastery in life over general skill sets and so when they come in honey i'm home they see you as the rock star for love this is also hopes and dreams coming true for love so every action that they take is meant for them to live up to this wish upon a star feeling look at that wish upon a star star card they're wishing upon you that they can come in quickly claim a victory in love the heart of pentacles that's the that's a parenting card of great nurturance sweetness kindness consistency it's capricorn energy doing the work so taurus you have someone here who has a very strong ambitious soul and they want a victory with you this can mean um a public display of affection but it really means that your person would be very proud to have you on their arm you know for you for for them to be on your arm however it fits but they feel as though you would represent to them a big victory and they are going to take every action to get that when they feel insecure when they feel their offer is not uh, big enough when they feel insecure they have a tendency to get a little quiet here the hermit card is virgo energy again this person is searching for answers you may be dealing with 
uh, a Virgo, a Pisces, uh, and you could be dealing with another Taurus or Capricorn, but we see this energy that this person is searching for answers. They go to the man cave or woman cave whenever they feel insecure, but they have a plan of action. Virgo energy is always a plan of action, solving pr problems by thinking about them privately, making a plan, and then moving forward. So we see this planning energy here for you. So, Taurus, that is the reading I have for you. Please, I'm so appreciative of any comments you leave, but tell me where you're from. In the comments section, I'm broadcasting from Chicago, so sending you love from here, and I hope to see you soon in another video, and I hope to learn what city or what place on this globe that you are watching from. Thank you so much, Taurus. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.